our poll. Hard to believe, but true, some schools across the country started punishing student veterans who were hit by delays in the forever GI Bill. Delays that were caused by the Department of Veterans Affairs' own incompetence. Now Mike Gooding tells us a new bill passed by both chambers of Congress and signed by the president aims to fix that problem. It's, it's hard to accept and it's, you know, it is disappointing. More than 100,000 GI Bill students across the country had pending housing claims that were processed late or incorrectly this past semester because of computer problems at the Department of Veterans Affairs. It forced them into difficult financial circumstances. Many also did not receive their tuition payments, which put them at odds with their schools. The problem? The VA still relies on 40-year-old computers and software to process forever GI Bill claims. Now help is on the way. The Bipartisan Veterans Benefit and Transition Act of 2018, signed into law by President Trump on New Year's Eve, makes schools ineligible for GI Bill payments if they placed penalties or burdens on students as a result of the VA failing to pay GI Bill payments on time. ECPI University Executive Director of Military Education Bill Brown says it's a good move. We've been doing this for years uh, at our school and we've been trying to take care of the veterans and the military members coming to use the GI Bill. And now that's gonna be uh, in effect all across the country at all schools, we think it's, it's a great uh, addition to the, uh, the GI Bill framework because now it's just gonna ensure that students all across the, the United States get the same protection. Under the new bill, if schools don't agree to the new rules, they won't be allowed to keep enrolling students using the GI Bill. Mike Gooding, 